Hey YouTube, it's the Real J Doll here on the Real J Doll's channel. Today I'm giving the girls very much natural. I got the natural hair going, no makeup, fresh skin. Because how could I do a video on how I clear my acne and I'm not showing you guys my acne? I have tried Proactive, CeraView, CeraVe, CeraVe, Clean and Clear, Neutrogena, Curology. I've tried all that and none of it worked. I've tried to clear my acne for about like four or five-ish years and I could not figure it out, but I finally figured it out. Honestly, y'all, I figured it out about like a year ago from now. Why am I so late? Because I want to make sure it worked. During my acne journey, I learned that some things worked for a little bit and then maybe after a few weeks of them working, my face went right back to how it was. So a year later, my skin is still fresh, looking good. Now, I may not be 100%, but it's definitely better than it was before. Here are a couple before pictures so you guys can go ahead and get the visual. Yeah, we've come a long way. So we're not gonna prolong this video any longer. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get into the first thing that got my skin looking good <laughs> today. Okay guys, so in a lot of my before pictures, I know you guys noticed that a lot of my acne was right here in my forehead area. Before, I used to always put mascara on and I used to fill in my eyebrows and I would never clean the makeup off. Like I guess I just thought it evaporated into my pillow or cleaned itself, but I feel like that was one of the causes. So the first thing that I started doing was implementing makeup wipes. These were the makeup wipes I started using. I used the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I would get them from Walmart. Ooh. These are Equate. Well, I would either use the Neutrogena or the Equate makeup wipes. I think Equate is cheaper. Um, but I would get them from Walmart or I would get them from Kroger. I'm pretty sure they have them at Ulta. I started off with makeup wipes. One, you know, to go ahead and get the makeup off because I know that can claw pores, cause acne. We didn't want that. Also, not only was I using that for, you know, just my forehead area, I was using that all over my face to start getting extra dirt and sweat off my face that was there from the day. The makeup wipes, I feel like it was a good start in the right direction because it's not harsh at all and it just, you know, removes anything extra that you don't need on your face. You can probably get these from anywhere between like three to seven dollars. I know sometimes they have like the double packs and those may run you a little bit more. But yes, this was the first change that I made in my face routine to clear my acne. The second thing that I use, which is so cliche, but I feel like it is really detrimental to your acne journey, is sleep and water. I used to hate hearing drink water to clear your acne. Y'all, when I tell you water is literally the only thing that I drink, I do not drink soda at all. I barely drink juice, but I drunk water all the time. So I realized it was not what you drink but how much you drink so I started drinking like three bottles of water a day to help with my acne and once I started doing that y'all I promise you my skin started glowing you could really see like a brighter fresher look in my face I don't know I did and then sleep the more sleep you get, the better your skin is going to be. Every time I wake up and I get a good amount of sleep, my skin looks fresh, you know. No bags, nothing extra. I'm looking alive, reju 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 rejuvenated, and well. And the best thing about it is that it's free. And y'all know we love free. The next thing is the cleanser. I feel like the cleanser is really one of the most important things in your routine. And I know that's what you guys been waiting to hear, so let's go ahead and get into it. The cleanser that I use is Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Bronner's. Let me just go ahead and give a quick disclaimer. Dr. Bronner's is not for everyone. It is not for everyone. So when you start using this, I'm going to tell you the best way you should start using this to see if it works for you. But first, I'm going to tell you why I like Dr. Bronner's. The first reason that I like Dr. Bronner's is because it's 100% natural, okay? It does not use animal fat. It uses natural plant oils. This has nine ingredients. I've seen on another YouTube video, somebody said seven, but I just read nine. It has water organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, citric acid, and um, <laughs> that last one, <laughs> Ta taco furl. I don't know how to pronounce that one. But you know, they always say you should not use nothing where you cannot understand anything. And I pretty much understood <laughs> eight out of nine things that was on here. One of the best things about it is that when you're using this, a little goes a long way. I've had this for over a year now, okay? 
and it works great. And I still have some left. You can get this from like Walmart, Kroger, Target, and I think it costs around like nine, ten dollars for a whole bottle. This bottle is about as big as my head, so you're definitely getting your bang for your buck. Now, when it comes to using this, guys, when you first start off, I highly suggest that you dilute this with water. What does dilute mean? Well, I'm here to tell you. When I first started using Dr. Bronner's, I got me one of these travel-sized Equate bottles from the travel section in Walmart. I would fill it up, probably, a little bit less than half with the Dr. Bronner's and I filled up the rest with water. So, when you dilute something, you're using water to kind of calm down the liquid mixture. That way it's not as harsh on your face because one thing about Dr. Bronner's is that it definitely gets you clean. I heard that peppermint opens up your pores and I didn't need my face, you know taking in everything like that so I gradually increased until all I use is like straight Dr. Bronner's when I wash my face I wash my face twice a day so I wash it in the morning and I wash it at night at night time I do the makeup wipe and then I'll do the Dr. Bronner's in the morning time I don't do makeup wipes I just do straight Dr. Bronner's everybody knows that you need to exfoliate your face from time to time when it's time for me to exfoliate this is what I use this right here this oh I hate when it doesn't focus this is the Clean Pore Cleanser Slash Mask from Neutrogena. I don't use this every day and I do not use this in my Dr. Bronner's at the same time because that's just too much at one time. So I'll use this once, maybe twice a week. And I won't use it as a daily cleanser because it is kind of harsh for my skin. I'll use it as a mask so I'll just put it on dry, leave it on for three minutes and then I'll take it off because this can get very strong very quick and if it starts burning just go ahead and rinse it off because it gives you a warning on the back and says that you need to leave it on for up to five minutes but you got to work your way into it so don't just try and go all full force the first time you use this but this is really good y'all this I got online from Neutrogena when they had a sale on their website for like seven dollars but I think it costs like around ten to fifteen dollars maybe I don't know but this a little does not go a long way so use this wisely next on our list guys we have toners this is the toner that i use this is from the heritage store and it is the rose water toner i never used witch hazel as a toner all my friends told me it was going to be too harsh my skin isn't that sensitive but i just didn't even want to risk it so i researched something that was a little less harsh and i found rose water i think the first time i found it it was at tj maxx but you know stores like tj maxx burlington marshall's it's hit or miss you find it one day and you won't find the next so i actually get this from the vitamin store they sometimes Sometimes carry it in Kroger, Target, and Walmart, but just check like the website or just look it up online and get it. It's no more than $10. The benefits that I found from rose water is that it reduces redness, it helps gently heal scars or you know any blemishes on your face, and it's also anti-aging, so maybe those wrinkles won't come as fast and your skin will thank you for using the rose water toner. The last thing that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about toners is it does help even out your skin, so boom. This is like the last clarifying step before I go into my moisturizer. I only tone my face at night. I don't want to tone my face too often. So let's go back over my nighttime skin routine. I do, oh, major key alert. Make sure y'all wash your hands before you start touching your face to wash your face at night. But let's go back over my skin routine. I wash my hands, I use a makeup wipe, wash my face. And then I use a toner. And I put the toner on like one of those round circle cotton balls. And I just wipe my face, you know, ever so gently. Don't do too much. And then that's it for my toning step. So next, let's go ahead and get into the moisturizers. Okay, y'all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is moisturizers. I wanted to find a moisturizer that was good for scarring, good for blemishes, and that was actually going to moisturize my skin. At first, I tried that 100% cocoa butter moisturizing lotion, and yeah, that did not work at all. So I tried to look for a moisturizer with cocoa butter because cocoa butter is a great natural ingredient that helps scarring. So, one thing that I scrolled upon was this. This is the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Butter intensive care lotion this is what I use for my moisturizer I use this at nighttime right after my toner during the morning time to moisturize my face I always use a sunscreen this is the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion with sunscreen this is SPF 30 I used to use the Neutrogena one and I think I used SPF 50 but then I ran out and I had this as backup in my room so I just started using this you need to use sunscreen I'm telling you sunscreen will change your acne's life okay so 
they use the Vaseline at nighttime. This was probably around like five to ten dollars at Walmart, Kroger. This, mm, I want to say this is probably around like ten to fifteen because you know Sarah V tries to tax on their products. So that's my basic like everyday routine. When I was trying to clear my acne or whenever I would get a few like sporadic bumps, these two bad boys right here, I really hate how it's not focusing. These two bad boys right here are the things that really like change the game. So first, this is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Daily Leave On Mask. So I would get a piece size of this and I would put it on my acne. So if I had like one or two little pimples that try to pop up then I would just put it on the one or two but if I had like a whole area then I just put a thin layer over I wouldn't rub it in I just put it on top like as a layer because it's a mask and I will wear this overnight and y'all when I tell you it will reduce the redness so much and the size of it so much I promise you guys this thing works sometimes before I would go to work like I would put this on in the morning do my little morning routine and then when it was time for me to leave I just put a little water on it you know to wipe it off and this definitely did the trick Next, I have this Ambi Fading Cream. Now this I was kinda nervous to tell you guys about because this is a bleaching agent. But I used to use this every day. Right after, what would I do this? Oh, I would use this every day and I would put it in the area that was like broken out. And then I would put the lotion like on the rest of my face. So I would try not to mix the two. This, like I said, is a bleaching agent, but it was used to help clear dark spots so it definitely did work but I feel like this is not something that you can use every day after you know your face is already getting clear because at one point I started breaking out in like these red dots all over my cheek once that started happening I stopped using this every day and I use it maybe like two or three times a week if that so that's why I was like kind of nervous to tell you guys but this definitely worked maybe it was just my skin type or maybe it was something completely unrelated I'm not sure but this I'm telling you helped so much you apply it twice a day in the morning and at nighttime the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the aloe vera plant I promise you guys this aloe vera plant did wonders for my skin I will insert a clip of what I did basically I got a raw aloe vera plant and I just cut it into little sections broke it in half you know opened it up to where all the gel was you know in between and I literally just rubbed it on my face I did that right after I cleaned my face with the dr. Bronner sometimes I would do a toner in between but sometimes I wouldn't for no specific reason I just I don't know I just didn't do it and then I was sleeping that overnight in the mask and in the morning I rinsed my face off with water and then I just you know wash my face like regular put my sunscreen on and go that I'm telling you changed the game so if you made it all the way to the end of the video you know the secret weapon for my skincare breakthrough other than that that's pretty much all I did for my face I know at one point in time there was a period where I was double washing my face so I would do the Dr. Bronner's first and then I used the Ambi bar soap cleaner and I did that at nighttime other than that I think I pretty much covered everything that I use for my acne journey so I'm just gonna go ahead and close the video right here thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video if you liked it make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers guys if you want to get fancy so you can go ahead and click the notification bell as well so you get notified every time I make an upload on my channel because why would you not want to be the first person to see a video I'm just saying but yes that is all I'll see you guys in my next video